Uh, it was brought to my attention that we were mentioned on Leo Laporte's broadcast. Leo Laporte, Leo Laporte, I know that name. I know that name very well, but uh, I was not able to recall who Leo Laporte was. And suddenly I went back all the way to the 90s. I used to watch him on TV, ZDTV. I do not know how many of you used to watch ZDTV, but it was a tech channel. Uh, I lived in Manhattan, New York at that time. And I lived a big portion of my life in Manhattan, New York. I went to high school in New York. I graduated from Brooklyn Polytechnic University. And I used to watch that guy a lot. Seeing Leo Laporte put a smile on my face because it took me back in time, back to the 1990s. I think it was 1997 or 1998. Uh, I had my first Packard Bell computer. It was a 33 megahertz processor, Windows 3.1. I remember I bought it from a chain in New York, it was called Nobody Beats the Wiz, and it was a $2,000 computer. I could not afford it at that time, so I put it on layaway. I used to pay Nobody Beats the Wiz store. I used to pay them maybe $100 a month, $200 a month, until I was able to pay it in full and get the computer home. So I got it, and I did not know how to use it. I deleted an icon of the desktop, and I was afraid. I was scared. Where did that uh, program go? Where did the icon go? I did not know that I had to go to the recycle bin to get that icon back. I went back to Nobody Beats the Wiz and I told them there was a program on the desktop. It disappeared. And uh, funny that the guy inside the store did not know how to get that deleted icon back. So they took the whole computer in and they gave me a new one. And uh, I used to watch Leo Laporte a lot. And I learned a lot from him back then on how to use computers. And uh, time just went by and I'm seeing him again now. I haven't watched him since the 90s. So uh, I'm glad that he's doing okay and he did not change much. So I wanna thank both the caller and Leo for the mention. I'm gonna post a link down below in the description that links to Leo's YouTube channel. I think the channel name is The Tech Guy. And let's watch the video. You know, integrating it and pulling everything together. Yeah. And there's a guy, there's a guy who has a little strip shopping mall, uh, uh, retail repair shop in Northridge, California. And I'll give him a plug because it's really interesting. I think you'll appreciate taking a look at it where he's posting YouTube videos of all the computers that are sent in. Oh, that's great. The name of the, the, na the, name of the shop is NorthridgeFix.com. I love it. Yeah. North, what a great idea. North Ridge Fix. Yeah. So anyway, so he, he, he's got all the test equipment. He's got the thermal cameras. And he says, you know something, what came in today? Oh, what do you know? It's the fifth HP Spectre oh. X360 that we've gotten. Oh. And, and they all have defective voltage controllers. Ah. Voltage regulators. Well, that's, that's a good problem. sign. Yeah. At least you know what's wrong. Yeah, at least you know what's wrong. But hold on a second here. Like, you know, you figure, well, let me call HP and tell them that uh, they've got a known problem. But apparently, you know, once you're out of warranty... Nothing they're going to do for you. Yeah. What, 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 what not only not do for you, you can't even call them. What? It's $100 to call them. Oh, if you just Lord. go online and say, what's the phone number for HP tech support on this laptop? It says, oh, we'll be happy to have you. Just put in your credit card for $100 and we'll take your call. Well, it looks like he so can fix this uh, his, this laptop. I'm looking at yeah. his I'm looking at his video actually as he's as he's yeah, fixing this. Yeah, did you see that? He says, "Oh, yes, another one. No power to the board." Yeah. So I'm just one. I wanted to like you know, there's something that strikes me as inherently wrong. I mean, I know a warranty is a warranty. But you know, it is occasionally the fat case that a company will uh, honor. Uh, if I've seen Apple do this, for instance, something that's defective because that is clearly defective, even outside the warranty.